This video is presented by the EA Creator Network. EA provided me with an early access code for this review. Hey everyone, Beyond Sims here. I really wanted to talk to you about the Sims 4 High School Years expansion pack. So it's been a long time since I've been doing a lot of YouTube things and I've been trying to write my review for the new expansion pack over at beyondsims.com, which is normally where I'm posting my news, previews and all of that good stuff. And I'm just really struggling at the moment to put words onto paper. So I was thinking probably better that I just do a review, just something casual, talking through my experience with the pack so far. So before I go any further, the pack was provided to me through the EA Creator Network. So this video is presented through the EA Creator Network. That does not influence my reviews in any way, shape or form. Um, and this is all my thoughts, my opinions. Hashtag not sponsored. So Sims 4 High School Years Expansion Pack is something I think theme-wise is something fans have wanted for a very, very long time. It's something I've wanted all the way back to the Sims 2 days. Um, and it's finally been realized. You can take your Sims to school for the first time ever, providing that your Sim that you're looking to take is a teenager. So you can't take children. Um, it is just for teens. Um, which is good because I feel like the teen life state in The Sims 4 isn't really that special. That isn't much different from being an adult. They're the same height. You can't tell they're teens half the time. Um, so I think it's about time they finally had some improvements to that, um, which which they've done. Um, so that's, that's, that's really good. So you can now take The Sims to high school and there is a new world called Copperdale which is where this high school lot is located. There's a high school lot, which is a special lot type, and there is also an auditorium lot. So you can't build those lots in other worlds. However, I think modders have done it, um, but they are there and you can fully edit them. And you're probably gonna want to because the high school lot is so bare, so lifeless. <laughs> it's just so boring, it's so empty. Um, so definitely go on the gallery and replace it with something better because, or build it yourself. Even I could build something better and I am an awful builder. Um, but, um, so you can follow your sim to school, awesome. Um, when you're there, you'll be basically working your way around different activities throughout the day in a similar way you would with like the movie career, um, so the acting career in Get Famous or some of the careers in Get To Work as well. And what you'll essentially be doing is you might have to speak to the principal, you'll go to different classrooms and your sim will sit there and absorb information. Um, they might chat with friends, be on their lunch, and you basically can see what they're doing and control them while they're there. That is really, really cool. I love that we can now go there and see this. And the world around the school lot is pretty cool. There's like a big sports field. Um, like I mentioned, there's the auditorium lot as well, which I will mention in a moment in a bit more detail. Um, so yeah, that that's a really cool thing. Um, where it's not as cool, um, so I've mentioned the building, um, sorry about the sun in the background, um, you can, obviously the building, great, um, but just, it just feels like there isn't much going on there. The school's got two classrooms, it, my sim takes ages to get from A to B, so they're often quite late to the classes as well, and, um, there are some things like random events as well in the pack. So there might be like a fire alarm um, during your lesson, which is really cool. Um, but it just doesn't quite get executed in the right way. It gets very much gets executed in that Sims 4 way that you'd expect where um, it, you do, you know, my sim, walk, in my example, my sim walked out, everyone else just sat there dead still and then they all stood up in sync at the same time and eventually left. But it took a very long time. So yeah. Um, yeah, needs to be improved, that does. Um, some other cool things that does come with it as well, though, is uh, being at school isn't just about learning, obviously it's part of it, but it's also quite a big social affair as well. There's a lot of emphasis on after-school clubs that your sims can join. So there's things like the chess club, there's cheerleading, and there's this new object where it's like a cheerleading mat, where you can really practice that skill if your sim really gets into it. Um, which is which is quite cool. It's cool to see, um, I'm saying the word cool too much, but it's really nice to see cheerleading and that make its way into the game. Um, again, where there's this flip side of this, it's really neat that there is these after school clubs, but when your sim attends them, you don't actually see anything that happens. It's very rabbit hole behavior. 
hashtag Sims 3, where it will take you back to your home lot and they'll just be off lot and it will come back saying, oh, they've completed chess club. I was expecting a lot more than that. Um, maybe, maybe I'm missing something, um, but that was my experience of it, which was a bit bizarre, really. Um, I was expecting something more like you'd get with the Sims 4 get together where there's groups and you've seen them do things or there's like a chess club in like a chess room in the school and they're doing it there or there's like a like they're all doing stuff on the football field on the cheerleading mats and I was expecting there to be stuff like that since there's so much emphasis on you know being able to see these things um and I thought that would make a lot more sense you know um so hopefully there'll be some options for that in the future maybe or a modder might do something um, but it just feels like a missed opportunity, really. In terms of it also being a social affair, there are also loads of events they can look forward to. I know that's always a big part of the high school life, particularly in the US. One of those being prom. So you can go to prom in the auditorium. There's also other events. I believe there's like career focused ones, sports ones. Um, and the auditorium lot will actually change based on the type of event it is, which I really like. So when you go into build mode, you can actually choose whether it's like normal, prom and whatever event it is, and it will load in how that building will look for that event. So you can really dig in there and customize that to your heart's content. And the pre-made designs there um, and layouts are actually reasonably decent, unlike the school. Um, so there's not as much need to go in and kind of demolish that and replace it with something more interesting. So that's good. Um, and obviously that's a really big thing and it adds to that teen lifestyle because that's obviously such a big part of it. And it really reminds me of like generations a bit more from The Sims 3, um, where that really marks a big part of their, uh, almost that life stage in the game. There's also areas you can explore in Copperdale as well, um, if you're looking to, you know, hang out with other people as well. Um, there are things like a, a fun fair themed space. It's not an actual lot, it's kind of like you have to load into like the park or a nearby lot in that neighbourhood and it's just part of it. Um, they are rabbit holes, so there is a ferris wheel, it you can get on and it, it just animates it to moving around. You can also woohoo in the ferris wheel as well, so. I know everyone loves to know where you can woohoo in game. But there's also things like a tunnel of love and um, other things that you just disappear into. It's very much like, um, a bit like um, festivals in The Sims 3 where they go into like, the haunted house and stuff and just kind of, you just hear noises and like stuff was happening. I feel like again, the world is beautiful. It looks, it, 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 it is just a beautiful world. Um, and I always appreciate that with The Sims 4 worlds. I feel like, the way obviously it's not a big open world there's things going on you can see people doing things that's always really nice however a lot of the things in the world it feels very decorative um so that fairground area for example there's a lot of buildings and things around it but you can't interact with any of it despite it being within that nearby playable zone it's not like an off-camera decorative item it's very much amongst everything you're doing which just always makes me want there to be more than there is in the game, which is a shame. In terms of other things that there are in the pack, which I found quite neat, is they have added things like puberty now. So there's body hair that's been added into the base game, alongside other things like curved walls and wants and fears. Um, we discussed that on the Llama Drama podcast, so go have a listen, uh, episode 48. Um, but puberty is now there. So for example, your sins can learn how to shave. They might have an acne breakout. Um, which I think is, is, is all part of this teenage stage, isn't it? So it enhances that teenage lifestyle. Um, and it reminds me a lot of The Sims 2, because they always get like spots and pimples and things then. Um, so I think that's a, a nice addition to this theme, focusing around that teenage lifestyle. There's some other fun things as well, which is more relating to like the social lives of teens. Um, so for example, um, there is the new Trendy app, which has been inspired by Depop. And I believe Depop, um, people actually worked with them on this, where you can buy things. Um, and there's also a new Social Bunny app. Um, so taking the name of the Social Bunny from The Sims 2, um, where it's like a social network for your Sims. They can post things on there, add people on there. Um, and I quite like, it's quite a cool thing. Um, the only thing I don't like is it's not in like real time. So the game like pauses. To, to show you all these things and I prefer more real-time gameplay features. 
um, but it's still something cool um, and I guess relevant now to add to the game. Um, one thing, the Sims are walk around now and they're staring at their phones all the time. And I know that's something we do in real life. I'm very guilty of it myself, um, more than I'd like to be without, real, you know, without always realizing. Um, but uh, yeah, I hope they, they tone down on that just a, just a tiny bit. So the reason why I'm finding it very difficult to put this into words is because it just feels like like the pack is fine. It, it's fine in the sense of it's cool you can go to high school. I like being able to have events like proms. I'm enjoying the new world, even if it does feel a bit small, um, as it just doesn't have as many lots as I'd expect. It just feels like there could have been so much more with this pack. I really wish we could have had more ways of enhancing the teen life, or if kids could also go, or we could build high schools in other lots, or we could follow people to after school clubs. Um, it just feels like, and I think it's a, almost a recurring theme with some of the packs we have with The Sims 4, where it just feels like we're scratching the surface rather than really going really deep into a gameplay aspect. Again, I could be missing things, it's just from the time I've been spending with the pack so far, and there's obviously gonna be more things I discover in time, I'm sure, um, but it's fine. Um, I don't think it's bad, I just think it's definitely something where there could have been a lot more done to really build on this. Um, and it's just had a bit of a shaky launch with the base game update, you know, causing problems with aging of Sims, causing some issues with the wants and fears system, that uh, with Sims you don't want it to do things with. Um, so it's just been a bit bumpy, I feel. Um, and I just really hope that I had high expectations after Cottage Living because that was a really neat pack. I enjoyed that one immensely. It was the first time in a long time I really got like glued into an expansion pack experience. So get it if you feel like the theme's gonna be of interest to you. There's lots of nice things to explore and nice things to enjoy, particularly if you are more of like a generational player. I think this will go down really well with you. Um, and if you like building, obviously you can now build a school. Um, which is something we've obviously probably, you know, wanted for quite a long time as Sims players. Um, but I think if you're looking for really deep gameplay, I don't feel like you're going to get it from this particular pack, though it's definitely better than other expansions such as Island Living um, in the past. So it's kind of somewhere in, in between really. Um, it's a new theme, thumbs up. They've tried, you know, tried something that they haven't done before, um, but I just don't think it's quite materialised in the way it could have, partly just because of the way The Sims 4 behaves, um, partly because of bugs, and partly because I just feel like it's just very, it, it could have gone a little bit deeper than it has done. It just doesn't feel as deep as Pax did in The Sims 2, and when The Sims 3 came out, I felt they weren't as deep as The Sims 2. The Sims 4, they're not as deep as The Sims 3. Maybe it's me. Um, but that's my thought on The Sims 4 High School Years. I appreciate it's a bit rambly. It's mostly me saying cool, neat, and rambling around and beating around the bush. But that's why it's been very difficult to turn it into words. I'd love to know what you think about the pack though. Are you enjoying it? Do you agree with me? Do you completely disagree? Am I chatting absolute nonsense? Let me know in the comments below, or you can tweet me at Beyond Sims, or head over to beyondsims.com. I'm trying to get a lot more involved now. I've been very distant for a while, I feel. Um, and I'm really taking a lot of enjoyment in reconnecting with this as my hobby. So I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and I will hopefully see you another time. See you soon.